Hello my friends, this is Denise from God's Third Acre and it's Tasty Tuesday. So today I'm doing a little prep for Thanksgiving. I'm going over to my stepdaughter's house for Thanksgiving and my daughter will be there and the grandkids so it's going to be a great day on Thursday. But the request I got was to make Congo bars. Now you can also refer to them as chocolate chip cookie bars but they're very moist and chewy and delicious. And I've been making them for my son-in-law. They're his favorites. So I had a request to make them again this year to bring them for Thanksgiving. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. I'll bring you in a little closer and you can see what's going on in the mixing bowl. Okay, in my mixing bowl here, I've got 2 thirds cup of butter and two cups of brown sugar. So we're going to go ahead and cream that together. Okay, now that the butter and brown sugar are creamed together, we're going to add eggs. It calls for three eggs. It says to add one at a time. I've cracked all three and put them in this bowl. So I'm going to just add one at a time. I've got my three eggs incorporated. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, which I've already pre-measured. We're going to mix that up really well. Now we're ready for our dry ingredients. In this container I have two and three quarters cup of flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt that I sifted together. So we're going to add just a little bit at a time so I don't get uh, flour going everywhere. For my baking powder, and I think I've said this before, I use this Rumford Reduced sodium aluminum free baking powder. I'm trying to get rid of aluminum out of my diet. So we'll keep adding a little bit of flour at a time until it gets well incorporated. I don't want to turn it up too high or I'm going to have a flour shower. Just like that, a flour shower. Poof. Okay, we've got that put in there. I'll scrape it off the beater. As you can see, it's a pretty thick batter. Okay, we'll take the beater out. And the next thing to do is to incorporate in one 11 and a half ounce package of chocolate chips. I've got a big package, so I just measured a little under two cups is an 11 and a half ounce package. So we're going to pour those in and I'll take it off my mixing stand here and get these incorporated. This is a really stiff batter. So hopefully I don't break my spatula trying to get all this mixed in. But I love these bars. I love chewy cookies. So this is a great recipe. When I was uh, a young girl in grade school, my best friend's mom would make these and I loved them so much. I need to ask my friend from grade school if she has her mom's recipe because I'd love to get her recipe for this. This recipe I got from a website called Six Sisters Stuff. So if you'd like to check out the recipe there, you can go to Six Sisters Stuff and look at theirs, but I'll also put it in the description below. Okay, I've got the 
chocolate chips mixed in pretty well. It says to put it in a 9 by 13 pan. I have this pan which is about the same size as a 9 by 13. I think it might be 10 by 14 but it'll work in there just fine. So we'll scoop out our batter. The oven was preheated to 350 degrees. So I'm just waiting for it to get up to temperature. The recipe also calls for pecans, but my grandson's allergic to nuts, so I'm not putting any nuts in this recipe. Of course, you can add them if you'd like. My hands are clean. I did spray the pan. I think I'm just going to use my hands. I think that's going to work a lot better. But the kids will be happy that I made these chocolate chip cookie bars. I'm also going to make a pumpkin pie and take it. My stepdaughter requested that. But she's doing all the rest of the cooking. So last year I hosted, so she decided she was going to do it this year. So that'll be nice. Last year when I hosted, we had just moved in and had only been here a little over a month. And my daughter commented and said, it looks like you've been living here for years because we had everything set up. Okay, I've got that pressed into the pan. Now I'm going to put it in the 350 degree oven. It's supposed to bake for 30 minutes. I'm going to reduce the time about five minutes just because it's a little bit bigger pan so I don't want to bake it too long and it says not to over bake it because then your cookies aren't going to be as chewy. So I'll move this over to the oven and we'll come back and take a look at them when they're done. Well friends here are my finished Congo bars and they are absolutely delicious. They would be great with some pecans in them though but couldn't add them for this time. But just look at how chocolatey they are. It'd be great with a big glass of milk or a nice cup of hot coffee. My grandkids will be happy to see these and so will my son-in-law. Hope you all have a wonderful day and a great Thanksgiving and I hope you enjoyed this Tasty Tuesday. If you did, please like, share, comment down below. And until next time, this is God's Third Acre. God bless.